Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and in this video we're going to be looking at WhatsApp groups. Now you might have a WhatsApp group for your school situation, maybe it's for a group of teachers in your department, maybe it's for a sports team, maybe you have a class in a WhatsApp group, it depends on the policies of your school if you're allowed to do that, but I'm just going to show you a couple of things to do when you are first of all creating the WhatsApp group, how to set up the settings, what I would suggest, and then how we can, and particularly this part, adding lots of people to the whatsapp group without having to add their numbers to your contact list and so on so a very quick way to add lots of people without having to do that so let's have a look at it first of all let's start with how do we create a whatsapp group so first of all in your whatsapp you would have seen there's the little three little dots in the top right hand corner when you click on that you'll get those options and we want to create a new group so we will click on that new group option and then once we get to the new group option, it'll give us our contact list and it'll ask us to add someone to the group. Now, unfortunately, you need to add at least one person. So you need to type in their name in the search and at least one contact needs to be added to the group for it to allow you to create it. Now, if you've got another teacher in your department that you've got their number that you can add, that would be great. If there's no one else besides the students that you're going to add, then I would suggest you add someone that you know. And then you can just remove them later on once the group has got other people in it. So add your one person and at the bottom you'll see that little arrow to go to the next step. So we will click on that to go next. Then we'll get to these options. Now you must give your group a nice little name there. You type in the name of the group that you want. I'm going to do that. Give, your, give it a nice name. I'm going to call this one Mr. Long Teacher Tips. And then on that little icon there, if you want to create an image or put an image into the icon, that's normally a good idea because then it sticks out in the list of all the, the chats that are in your WhatsApp. So I would suggest that you put a nice little image in there, maybe find one that's related to your topic or your group. I'm going to put in my little icon over there. So there we go. So we've added a little select an image from your, your gallery. Okay, so there we go. We're on, the, we're on the way there. Let's click on that little tick to go to the next step. So when we click on that, there we go. Our group is created. All the people that we've added is in it. And then you can start, obviously, the conversations. However, we want to do a few things before we move on. We want to change a couple of settings. So let's go click on those three dots again for this chat while we are in the chat. And we're going to change a few of these settings. So we're going to go over here and let's click on the group info option right there at the top. So when we do that, it'll show us the details of our group. We can start an audio chat or a video chat if you wanted to, but we first want to do some settings. So we're going to scroll down a little bit. Let's scroll down further down just a little bit, and you'll get to a part which says the group settings. That's what I want to now change. Now, when I click on that, I'll get to a screen that looks like this. So let's talk about these options. The first option there is edit group info at the moment the default is all participants that means anyone in the group so when i click on it i'll get these options you this allows people to change the icon or or to change the name of the group and stuff like that they can delete messages that type of thing if i had a group with uh, students and stuff like that i probably wouldn't want them to have full access to this so i would select and or change it to only admins now you are automatically the admin when you create the group and you can create other admins later on so i, I would suggest using only admins for this case so that's the little box there select only admins if if you can then the next option there is send messages this says who is allowed to send the messages the default is all participants again look, i hate it when i have a group and then you, you post something and then there's a, a constant stream of messages of people putting thumbs up and they they're commenting on it and it's not relevant to what you want to say or you just want to share that information and then that information gets lost like further up in the group maybe you just want to send information in this group and that's it so it's almost like a message board i would then set the setting to only admin so that no one else can add their messages they are just going to receive messages from the admins and then you can use it as an information message board i prefer that option if you ever want to have input from all the members in the group then you can always come back to this part set it to all participants for a certain amount of period and then once you've got the information that you need you can set it back to only admins in my case i enjoy or i prefer having only admins because then I can control what information is being spread in that group as well. Because a reminder, if you're an admin of a, of a WhatsApp group, you are responsible for the content on that group. So you need to manage people that say things that they shouldn't be saying or bad messages and stuff like that. So normally it's best just to have only admins in that case, especially if you're dealing with students. And then if you've got other teachers in your group, maybe you want to make them the admins so that they also have rights, for example, to change things. And so you can go to 
the edit ad group admins that part there and that's where you can specify different people that are currently in the group and you can make them admins so that they can also change these settings or be able to send messages and so on so those are your little options over there so let's go back to, to the original group so we're going to click back on that little arrow there now we're back at our details or group info and i'm going to scroll even further down right further down so let's go all the way down to this little part now there's the part where we can add participants. We can add people to the group. Now, most people use this one where we can just add people from your phone book. Now, the reason why I don't enjoy this particular one is because if you've got someone saved as a contact in your phone, that means that they can see, for example, your, um, they can see your statuses that you post on WhatsApp and other things like that. I prefer to only I keep that for the people that are in my contact group. So I try not to have students in my contact, um, in my, in my phone book. So what you can do, is instead of doing this, I would suggest you go to the next option, which is invite via a link. And let's see how we can do that. So if you click on that option, you'll get to this page where you can see that is the actual link for your WhatsApp group. So what can we do with it? Well, first of all, you can send it via WhatsApp, which is weird because you in WhatsApp, you could have just added them, but you can send it to people via WhatsApp. So you could do that. Um, you can copy the link. If you copy the link, then you can post it, for example, in a Facebook page or in a an email. If you want to send it to a particular group, maybe you've got some staff members that you want to add. You can share the link, which will then go directly into, like, for example, a Facebook message or an email. You could do that as well. But this one, this is the one I really enjoy. It's the QR code option. So when you click on this, it'll generate a QR code for your WhatsApp group. So what this does is now I've got this code on my phone. So what I can do is if the students are around, if they are in WhatsApp, they can go to the camera portion of their WhatsApp. If you just scroll to the left of the chats, you'll see it'll eventually go to camera and they can use that camera to scan in that QR code. And when it does, it'll allow them to join that group. And so I can just move my phone around, let them scan the QR code and that way they can join the group. Very quick, very easy. I don't need to record their names or their numbers into my phone. They can just join the group automatically. So that's what I would suggest they do, the scan with their phone. The other option is that you can take a screenshot of this particular page and then use that QR code in a, a PowerPoint or on a notice that the students can quickly scan with their phone and that way they can join the group. So this is what I find very useful when you want to add lots of people to a group very quickly. And let's go back. Now, let's say we've got our WhatsApp group and we've got our links and we've got the people in and we don't want anyone else to join the group. We, we want to close the group, um, but you know that you might, someone might get that QR code from someone else or they might copy the link. What you could do then is reset the link. That means any previous QR code, any previous link will be null and void. It won't be used to be able to get into the group. It'll generate a new link, which unless you share the new link, no one will be able to access. So there we go. So those are the options over there. And that's how you can create your WhatsApp group, how you can create it, how you can set your settings to be safe, to make sure that you manage it properly, and how to add lots of people very quickly without having to add them to your phone book. If you found this video useful, then please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and share us with your fellow teacher friends so we can help them as well. Look at our playlist for more videos to help you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.